Hello everybody, I will now give you a demo of this project type single speaker audio transcription editing in Shonya. So this is the project which has been assigned to this annotator. So uh, the project page has the project ID, the description, the project type, the status and the number of unassigned annotation tasks in this project and the number of unassigned review tasks in this project. So an annotator can pull more tasks for annotation by clicking on this pull new batch button and if they want to not annotate this particular batch of tasks they can click on this deallocate tasks to deallocate the task and to begin annotating they can either click on start labeling now or they can go through each task and click on annotate for that particular task so this is the task dashboard which has all the tasks so these are all the fields which are present in each task the id which is the task id the domain to which this particular audio file belongs to the scenario to which this particular audio belongs the url where this audio is present in the audio duration so this being a sample data we have just populated it with dummy values so otherwise it will have the duration of the audio file this is this field has the machine transcription for this particular audio file this is the raw reference transcript so which has the text which is being spoken in this audio file this is the status of the task so initially all tasks are under the unlabeled status so to begin annotating we can click on annotate for this particular task so this is the annotation page of a particular task so each task has a single audio file so this is the audio file so we can play or pause it by clicking on this play button this is the reference raw transcript which has been spoken in this audio so let us just play this audio and see அம்ரிட்சர் மாவட்டத்தில் ஏதேனும் தடுப்பூசி மையம் பதினைந்து பதினேழு ஆண்டுகள் வயதினருக்கு செலுத்தப்பட்டது தடுப்பூசிகளை வழங்குகிறதா So this is how you play and pause. So these are all the tags which are present for this audio. So this is speaker, so which can be used wherever uh, the speaker speaks the text. This is the noise tag, tag, which can be used wherever there is some noise in the audio file. So we can even change the speed in which this audio is played by changing the speed. Amrit sir. So this is how it works. So to begin annotating, what we can do is let's just go back to the beginning of the audio file. So, Amritsar Mahavatil. So, if as you can see, so there is a pause after this Amritsar Mahavatil. So we'll click on speaker first. So whichever tag you are applying to a particular region, just click on the tag name, and then you click and drag the region like this to select it and play it. And uh, once you finish selecting it. The regions which have been selected are listed here. So just go back to the first one. So once you click on that, this transcription box comes up. So you can just type whatever was being spoken there. So in this case, Amritsar Mahavatil was being spoken. So we'll just copy paste it and click on add. So continue playing this. So here it is. So from here till here, as you can see, it's a denum tadupusi mayam. So we'll click on speaker, the the second one here, the second region, and then you just copy paste this text, or you can just type directly into this. So this way you have to complete transcribing the entire audio file. So wherever there is a pause, you can just leave it as it is, and wherever there is a continuous series of words being spoken, just select that region and then provide the transcription. So this is how you do it. So once you have completed transcribing it, click on submit to submit the task. So now you can see that this task has gotten submitted, and these were the two regions which have been submitted. If you want, you can just select that region. Amrit Sir Mawat. So and then you can verify it, and if you want to make edits to it once again, so just click on this. Now let us say you just want to test the edit, so just do that and click on end. 
click somewhere else outside the region then it will just get saved so you can just try updating it and then trying it so you can just go back and now as you can see the text has gotten edited like this so automatically so this is how you do the annotation so in case you don't want to annotate a particular file you can just click on skip to skip it or if you just want to make changes to this and then save it just click on draft and the task will be saved as draft which you can access later on and then do the annotation so going back to the project page so you can actually filter each task by the status to which this belongs to by clicking on any of those tasks so now we label one task so all tasks which were annotated will be moved to this label and we can see so click on annotate so this was the one which we annotated just now and as you can see the transcriptions have gotten saved so this is how you go about annotating this particular audio transcription project thank you